Please. This guy is very presumptuous. You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. I'm gonna go get your brother. The wall isn't even supposed to be a thing for at least another year. The wall wasn't even mentioned until 2007, right? Why is he talking about the wall? It's 2006. Come on. It's only plastic. Uh, storage door? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck. Okay, alright, alright. There's gotta be something else. Wonder if I could get more light from it. Cardboard tube? Can't quite. There we go. Yes. That helps a little, a little bit. Okay. Looks like he's gone for now. Office window. Daniel must be scared shitless. I can't leave him out there. Yeah. Yeah, we get it. You're the perfect Americans. Yeah. Nano, you're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta hurry, though. He called the cops on us. Think, dude. There's gotta be a way out of here. Near bear. Hank Doris Stamper, 822-1982. I'm sorry, but you married an asshole. Asked to open the office window. He can fit through there. There's a window over there. Maybe you can find a way in or something. Neon sign. It is. But be careful. It might attract him. Hey, you think you can open the back door? This is really cool. I love the, this being able to work together with your brother to solve this really stressful problem. Why did I put us in this? It won't open. It's locked. What do I do? I don't know. Let me think. Can you try and open this vent? Yes. Don't worry. We'll figure something out. There's got to be something else. I'm running out of options here. Keys. Of course the fucking keys are all the way over there. Oh. Pipe anchor. Sean? Right. Okay, Daniel. I see some keys, but I can't reach them. Maybe I can get them if I can pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. Something sturdy. File in the workshop. I, I think I saw a big file thing in the workshop with all those bear sculptures. I know you can find it. Okay. I'll try. This is intense. Whew. I'm 
Let's see. This is why. Sean, uh, I found something. This, this is why we we this needed those Californians. Because only Californians know how to help people, apparently. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Mash with. All right, let's do some QTEs here. Come on, yes. there we go. Good job, bro. Move forward with W. Yeah, I think he needed to turn on the neon light in order for us to see the keys. There you go. Good job, Sean. Now, how are you supposed to get to? You do it. Here, here. Come on. Okay. Nice. Hold on. Nice. Oh. Come on. Hopefully, hopefully. Come on. Come on. Yes. Sean. Oh, God. I was so scared. Is it raining? All right, we need to what get. What happened to your face? That old bastard happened. Okay, we need to cut this off fast. How about these? That works. Dude, the rock. All right, let's get out. Did that asshole see you? No way. I'm okay. invisible. Yeah, you are. Grab your bag. Okay. Now we gotta get my stuff and go. Oh no. Daniel's it's what Daniel happened? I knew it was Daniel's powers. What? Daniel's what the one with do? the powers. I, I don't know. I knew it. I, I knew it. Happened. I it's called okay. it. You were safe now. Uh, yeah, so I think this guy kind of deserves this. So, um, yeah, we need the camping gear, and I really don't have any. We, try, we tried to pay for everything, and he ended up trying to turn us in without... It's one thing if he's trying to turn us in, but he went all, you know... Again, extra on it. He went all extra on it and like being all racist about it. Jeez. Maybe not in some parts. Yeah, but there's some people like that, especially outside big cities. Oregon might be a, a red state without Portland. There are sadly racist people everywhere. It's disgusting, really. Mm hmm. Well, the first did get pretty dark, so it's not surprising this has serious issues, too. I think they did a good job handling it so far. Whole lot of spice. Yeah, I agree. Where's the Californians when you need them? This makes Washington State looks awful. Slip in skinny lattes and working out. Maybe just some places outside the city though. This is really stressful. Could be any state to be honest. That is top gear, top tier good stuff. Yeah, surprised they didn't take their stuff too. Yeah, good going, Hark. Thank Daniel. We now get got plenty of supplies. Oh gods, we tried. Uh, yeah, yeah, good go. We gods, we tried being nice, but nah, sir. We could really use this. You can't spell extra without old white man. <laughs> Screw the racism. All right. Yeah, we're gonna take we need We're gonna have to take this camping gear because you know Karma's a bee <laughs> Karma's a bee racist man <laughs> You fucking little spick you and your brother are going to chill for the rest of your life the hell with you Run knock out and steal Oh man, ah, this guy. I kind of just want to knock him out, and I just kind of want to knock him out. I don't want to kill him, but he's. What do you guys think? Let me ask. Let me ask the chats. What do you guys think I should do? Do you guys think I should run off? Do you guys think I should just run, or knock him out and take the stuff? What do you guys think? I'm. I'm gonna. I have an idea of, I think I know which one I'm going to, I'm going to pick, but I want to hear from you, the audience. Let me know what you think I should do, and then I'll make my final decision. 
Whoa, heart taking the steal option? I thought I'd never see the day. Take it, just rub it in. Ew, I hate that word. Why? Well, you do have to, to survive, especially with the kid brother. Punch him in the mouth, Hark, do it. I almost stole the camping stuff, but I wasn't willing to be violent. Unlimited. See, I was going to steal. See, the thing is, I was ready to just take it, but now there. Now it's just taking it and running off with it. Uh, I, I, it's different now that I have to knock someone out violently to take it. You know, I was willing to take it if I didn't have to, like, knock him out. But now it seems like I have to bring violence into this in order to take it. It's almost like the game is saying, Are you sure you want to stake it? Are you sure you want to steal it? Or do you want to just run? Um, I almost stole the campings of what it was and willing to be violent. Unlimited, po unlimited power. I'd say knock this dude out. Well, be nice if the campy gear included food. I think that'd be more important than, like, other tools. Though a tent would be good. I'd run simply because you don't know if there are campers in the shop. If th I'd run simply because you don't know if there are cameras in the shop. Interesting. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean... There is something to be said about um, having a case built against us if we run off. You could, you could build a case against them if there are cameras in the shop and they show us stealing stuff from this guy because that only incriminates us more. So, I don't know. Uh, take the righteous road. Punch him in the mouth. <laughs> it could look really bad later. Ah, true. Duh. Knock him out and steal. We tried being nice to this dude and he was being super racist and kidnapped us. He deserves it. Have to set a good example. Knock him out so he can't chase you. But I suppose it'd be bad if you were caught on camera assaulting and stealing. If there's cameras, they already know this guy assaulted a pair of miners. True. True. I think cameras are the least of our worries by now. You could really be looked at as criminals if the police sees this. That happened outside, though. Yeah. Um... Mm. I would rather... If it was food, that'd be one thing. Camping stuff... I feel like... I feel like camping stuff... Would be... Not as ideal as food. Um, yeah, that's kind of thick. Stay clean throughout, so maybe at the end you can prove your incense. <sighs> yeah, I was gonna take it, but now that... I was gonna take it, but now that this guy is, like, awake and I have to, like, knock him out to steal it, you know, I'm not giving him the satisfaction of... <sighs> it's, it's different now. I don't want to give him the satisfaction of proving him right. Um, especially because it's not food. Since it's not food, it's not really necess necessary. It's more like a nice to have. So. All right, I'm running. I made my decision. Get the fuck off me, bitch. Run, Daniel. I'm right behind get, you. Get back here, you shit. Come on. Come on. Wait. We got to talk, Daniel. We gotta talk about dad, and we gotta talk about your your power thing. Where are we going? Sean! Watch out! Over there! Let's go! I don't know! I bet Daniel's confused. Oh! Hey! Oh, oh, what are you doing Nudist now? guy! You almost scared the shit out of me! I'm sorry! You guys okay? No. That asshole at the gas station. We're fucking crazy. He tied me up in his back office. I swear. Dude, say no more. I believe you. Okay. Shit's crazy out in the woods. Get in. You too. Oh, okay. Hurry up before he catches us. See, we don't need a tent. We've got this vehicle. We've got this car, which I don't know if I completely trust Brody, but. We don't have a choice but to trust him for right now. We don't have any choice but to trust him, so let's 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 just do it. I guess taking all that camping stuff would have made it harder for us to get into this car. What a cool dude. Woo for Brody being a bro. Brody, my man. Oh Brody. Welcome to the live stream, Anna. Hopefully Brody's legit. How long is this episode? Does anyone know? Yeah, I'm not really sure how much Damn, longer we have. It is crazy. And I thought 
I was having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. Did he mess with you too? He started too earlier, mm. but I bought too much stuff just to piss him off. Welcome to Redneck Land. This ain't Seattle no more. Yeah. Yeah. My dad said there are more Bigfoots out here than Mexicans. No doubt. People out here are more scared of you and your little brother. This is nuts. That's nuts. Scared of us just because we're Mexican? Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <laughs> is that the puppy? What's Did you just take the puppy? Come on, I'm not stupid. You took the puppy. We can't take care of a puppy. Uh. Oh, you took the puppy. Daniel. What? We saved her. <laughs> We're heroes. Uh. We can't keep a dog, Daniel. Are you kidding me? We can't keep a dog. But you said that maybe we could. <laughs> Don't give up, Daniel. He's on the ropes. Jeez, come on. We need a dog. I don't know if we need and another Daddy mouth to feed. Just, just stop. You win, but you better really take care of her. Deal. Thanks, Sean. She's gonna be so quiet and and. What are we what gonna we feed her? her? Hey, your dog. Your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Oh um, no. Mm, how about uh, mushroom? She totally looks like a mushroom. Okay. She totally looks like a mushroom. Fine, that's fine. We can call her mushroom. Whatever, whatever. If we name the dog whatever you want. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not much of a girl's name though. Who cares? I'm sure she loves it. All right. So do I. Better All than right. clicker. Mushroom it is then. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, mushroom, you got the best name ever now. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> mushroom. I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. Road warriors. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money, but... No soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, mm -hmm. do podcasts, mm -hmm. protests, try mm -hmm. to make some positive change. Eh, whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. Man, that sounds cool. Don't you ever get kind of lonely? Uh, there's a big difference between alone and lonely. That is true. Yeah. And you probably meet a lot of people out here. That's right. The unseen side of America. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, uh... I'd be like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah, and feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. 
traveling by night is kind of mysterious. I do love the soundtrack. Now we have two puppies. Oh, Kiwi does trust Brody. Well, that's good. Three hours later. Brody's my dude. It's the beard. Dude. Yeah, totally the beard and the flow. This Kiwi here trusts Brody too. Well, if he's a political reporter and understand he might still be on their side. Though as a reporter, I would have assumed he would have heard of them already unless it's not his area. Brody seems like a nice, honest guy. Hopefully. Is somebody peeing in the woods? I think we're peeing in the woods. Yep, yep. Man, look at that. Wow. Oregon it's... is like the edge of the world. That lighthouse, man. Hmm. Yeah, this is Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Oh, this is Arcadia hey, Bay. I'm like, that lighthouse, it just looks just like the... Wait a minute. I was I like, that lighthouse looks just like... Guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call. No pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was the police. It's their fault. Dano just wanted to play zombie outside. Your shithead neighbor was picking on him. And I got in a fight. So dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops in, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. One second my dad was alive. Then... <laughs> Fucking cops. Hey, it's gonna be all right. Take a deep breath. Listen, I'm really sorry this happened to you, man. Injustice is everywhere, and you're taking the brunt of it right now. But you're gonna be okay, Sean. How? Wish I could go back to my town. Even if it was boring like that one. At least I've had friends, family, a home. I used to bitch about it so much. Now I've got... nothing. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but... What you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. Yeah, you need him too. I, I can was gonna tell say. he doesn't know what happened. Yeah. Sean. You need to tell at him. At some point. Yeah. 
I'm uh, gonna have to tell him. Like today? Like now? I know. I know. I just have to find the right time. Like, there's never gonna be a right time. The sooner you can address it, it's there's the there's never yeah. gonna be a right time. You gotta just do I'm it. Do it next chance I get. Which is now. <laughs> Wake it's as. Just... It's when not wake... gonna be easy. Uh, it's not. The... We never said it was gonna be easy. That's not the point. It's not gonna be so easy. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking. Get out of the country. Fuck it. Go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn. I thought I was the long haul traveler. <sighs> Should I go back to Seattle? Maybe I can try and explain everything. What happened? You should do what you think is best. If going to Mexico seems like the right thing to do, then so be it. You're going in the right direction. You have family there? Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Oh, wow. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? Yes, what about no, your mom? No way. Whoa. She's... she's... Out of the picture. So she's still alive. But Dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. Arcadia Bay, established 1895. Visit our famous lighthouse. Listen, is there a, I'll drop you by. It's Life is Strange music. In a couple of hours. That's Life is Strange you guys one can music. Some time to yourselves. Very cool touch. Nice. I was wondering how the Arcadia Bay stuff would have ended up being a thing in this story, since the story seemed to be taking place in Washington State. So, that's cool. That's the translation. I love him. Brody, my guy. Pacific Harbor, Oregon, two hours later. Don't nod. Points to Arcadia Bay. Listen, fans, that's the past. So Sean and his brother didn't start in Max's town, but end up there. Cool. That is pretty cool. <sighs> Motel. Okay, Mushroom, you can chase me. Then, Sean. Um, uh, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Can Ow. we tell him now? He's, he has a puppy. That'll help. He's got a puppy. Now's the best time to tell him. We're so lucky Brody helped us. Yeah. So if it lucky. wasn't for him, we... Uh, yeah, let's not talk about what would have happened. Too bad sandcastles never last. Glad to see him act like a kid again. Yeah. How will I tell him? I'm pretty perceptive, Werewolf. Thank you. He said, it's funny you noticed the Life is Strange 1 music because some fans didn't notice. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty perceptive about these things sometimes. Not all the time. Not all the time. But I am sometimes. Stick. Guess I could play a little with these two. Hey! Let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay. But I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. 